Hey guys, all right, and uh, welcome back to the uh, Twitch stream, um, part five. <laughs> uh, all the other parts can be found on the uh, on the CW Studios YouTube page. Um, so yeah, check everything out there for, for what we've been doing and where we've gone up to if uh, this is kind of your first time tuning in. Um, this is the scene that I've been working on um, and yeah, kind of doing all little bits and pieces to get this, you know, kind of uh, in the right spot um it's um yeah it, it's definitely coming along and there's some there's some cool bits uh now and i this week i did a little bit of prep work so we could just move a little bit faster right um and kind of getting into the details and things like that so i've got a whole bunch of stuff that i want to show you guys um and i think that um we're getting pretty close so we're just going to start kind of working on um all the details and things like that right so um i one of the things I was doing was basically what I did was I came on here to the front mode, right? And took a screenshot of this. I hid my characters and all that type of thing. Um, and then kind of brought that into Photoshop. And I brought it into Photoshop and basically did this. So um, yeah, just did a quick little mock-up of, um, of how this could look with all the logos and things like that on there. Um, and that's one of the things that I want to work on today. So I want to work on getting all these logos and kind of decals in, and this is really going to give like a, a nice level of finish to the, to the design. Um, I want to work on some lights, <clears throat> excuse me. I want to work on some roof beams, some floor beams, and there was other stuff. <laughs> I should have written it down, but it's all good. We'll, we'll work through. Um, now the other thing that I did. So we'll get back onto the kind of decals and stuff in a minute, right? But the other thing that I was working on is I just added a few little um, different props. So um, just because I didn't want to just spend ages like modeling all this stuff up, right? So I've got these little guys here, which are, I like to call them the greebly details, <laughs> right? So uh, basically uh, it's just this piece that I made and then I've duplicated that many times and then made some other bits that I've duplicated and duplicated and duplicated, <laughs> that's all. So um, to do this, like, let's just make up another thing kind of quick, just so I can show you how to do it. And then, um, and then you know, we'll just start uh, copying and pasting these bits around, right? Um, but let's just take this cube here, okay? And just move it over here somewhere. All right, let's just shrink that down and scale it. Um, Hey, OG Frost Haze. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who this is, <laughs> but hello, welcome. And um, yeah, glad you're liking it. If, um, if uh, yeah, you want to check it all out, you know, make sure you check out the YouTube page and everything's there, like I said. So um, yeah, I just want to show you how to make some of these like, you know, kind of clips and pan, um, you know, just sort of techy details, right? So I just start out with a, um, with a cube, just, you know, transform around to the size you want. Um, then we need to go, oh my gosh, I've been using Photoshop all day. <laughs> control A, rotation and scale, tab in, control B, do a bevel. Sweet, that's pretty cool. Um, let's just stick some sort of, you know, mid gray, uh, you know, um, metal material on it. Okay. And then, you know, I might be like, okay, I want like a second piece to this. So let's imagine it might be like on a crate or something and it's a bit of like a clip. So let's do Shift D, Escape, um, scale this down, you know, maybe scale this up so it breaks through the surface a little bit. Uh, let's just move it around a bit and maybe this part is, we're just gonna unlink that material. All right, let's make it this dark gray all right and i sort of grab this one shift d escape um let's go scale and just scale the whole thing a bit bigger and then knock that in a bit right and then you can get these sorts of things going on right these these different sort of plane changes and stuff but you've already got the bevel on there and stuff so it's really cool and then obviously i can duplicate i can mirror you know i can do, do all sorts of things so um shift d escape it's like do that one up a bit and kind of you know in a bit and we could make it 
so it's like even whatever a bit smaller you know maybe this is that we just shift click on this one control l link that material all right so we could do something like that and so on and so forth and you can also don't forget you can rather than just doing things on the top here you can shift e escape you know s we can make that sort of bigger that way and then shrink it down this way too right and then we got stuff sort of like cutting through the middle as well so that's pretty cool so we can unlink that material maybe this is like i don't know whatever some other slightly they're all the same <laughs> uh let's unlink that material and just make it slightly darker you know or this could be your blue one or something if you were going to have it as like an accent you get the idea right so that's literally how i did these things okay all i did was just that and just duplicating rotating stuff around right so yeah that's all um so it's pretty simple i made up like a little scaffold thing here um I'm not sure if i'm going to use that i just i had this and i was like oh let's just potentially use this and this is something this is like another piece that i've made up in a different file over here as well so let's have a look at this one let's just go view align view and center view to cursor all right then that'll stop that zooming in and out kind of thing that goes does my heading <laughs> all right now with this one what i want to do is i want to show you a couple of things so I, I made this um, the same way of just doing all these things, just simple modeling, right? Um, but then what I did is I actually made like a trim sheet for this um, and kind of, um, you know, used it as a bit of a texture. So now, what do I mean by that? So let's do this. And you can kind of find these online and stuff as well, right? To give you ideas of what you can do. So um, let's just bring this over here for a sec. So I've got like a trim sheet. Oh, we don't want to open that up here, but it's that. <laughs> uh, uh, let's just open it in Photoshop. But with, All right. So it's just like this type of thing, right? And yeah, you can just make these up in Photoshop, just like I made up the, um, where was it? The floor, 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 floor. Is it in textures? Yep. Um, just like I made this one up right it's the same same thing so you can just go around you can make it like as 2d as 3d as you want um but these trim sheets are really cool for adding details like really quickly to stuff so that's how i got all of these like kind of details in this stuff here right and then you can also put in like a little um we click on some of these components so it's all it's all anyway i'll show you right so once again let's just say we've got a um cube shift a mesh cube let's just make our cube here all right and then let's just texture it with that metal right so we're just going to make it that you know metal just so it's like shiny or whatever right um and then what we can do is we can grab go into the material right so we change this to actually let's zero two some like whatever anyway look better before undo <laughs> all right so what i want to do is go into the shader editor into object all right so we're in the shader editor here all right we're just going to click on this node here control t because we've got our node wrangler activated um uh sorry so the question is if you want to lecture a teacher at cdw what industry or sector would you like to work in within the digital art field do you mean in terms of i mean i'd be a concept artist well that's what i did or do I, um yeah so i just work in games and movies and designing all this stuff <laughs> yeah so i just is that what you mean og frost is it just yep as in what do i do kind of when i'm not teaching <laughs> these days i don't do that as much i just answer emails but um <laughs> but normally it would be designing stuff for games and movies um all right so now what i want to do i want to add this so we're going to attach this image which is this trim sheet all right and then you can see it like did some stuff right so can you guys see so it's already doing stuff so let's just shift right click here and go view align view center view to cursor all right and then we'll rotate around here a bit better okay so you can see that like it's just adding like this this sort of trim details right which is really cool now 
what we want to do here is like um, let's shift a and add this uh, bump all right bump node okay and then let's plug the color into the height and then the normal into the normal there all right and then we're gonna get like too many details <laughs> all right but what you do is you come into this sort of tone this distance way down and like turn the strength down and then you can kind of mess around with it until it's giving you the result you kind of want and then like I might make this you know a bit less metallic and a bit more rough right and then we kind of get it still a bit shiny but not not getting like all of that crazy you know kind of detail um, and you can sort of zoom in and you can just yeah get what I'm saying you can kind of and you can just make the bump on that whatever you want right and then so let's come into here so let's tab in um, hit L make sure everything's selected it already is but and then we go U hit you on the keyboard and then I'm going to go uh, cube projection all right and check that out so now now that's going to project like you know the same on every side right so it's kind of cube projecting so that's really cool and then we've also got that so you can see as, as I make those details smaller the kind of noise and that disappears a bit right so then we might want to be like oh we can just you know kind of mess around with that that was, that was pretty good where it is right but it sort of gives this like you know illusion of 3d stuff so these trim sheets are awesome and you can do whatever you want and if you type in sci-fi trim sheets on google you can find heaps of stuff and you can you can use that or make your own or whatever the case whatever you want to do right but it just gives a bit of extra detail to your flat kind of panels so then the next bit here is you can come down here because we added did our little, little node wrangler and did control t we got like a texture coordinate and a mapping node so they're in here and what we can do is like we can scale those you know either bigger you know or smaller right depending on what you want to do and you can kind of move all this around to kind of yeah to kind of suit what you want to have so how cool is that right so we can do that so we're going to use this a little bit right this kind of like notion of this kind of like trim sheet so um let's do that to some of these panels first um we're going to add some of these props and stuff in um let's maybe copy this one in so i just copy it from my prop sheet i go down here to blender and just load up my scene right and then just paste this in okay and that's going to just come into my scene there which is really cool and then yeah we can kind of like use these details in whatever format that i kind of want um i might go shift d escape and then rotate so i'm just going to hit r on the keyboard type 90 uh type 180 no type 90 no minus 90 <laughs> what minus 45 hang on just rotate <laughs> all right minus 90 okay okay because i thought that this might actually work as like kind of a ceiling piece uh potentially let's do something like that and just put it in there let's just scale this Bit. so we've got like one here let's go control uh, shift d escape control m x flip on x right and then we can just sort of like join that up there so we've got like two of them now right maybe grab this one both of those and join it together all right and then let's see what it's doing there right so it's just giving us some like kind of roof panel details which is very cool let's make sure that it sits in the roof <laughs> very important all right shift d escape let's hide hide some of these hide the walls i probably had that in a, in a collection here right oops hide the walls just for a second so let's go over here shift d escape add one of those like there shift D escape maybe another one could like go over here potentially and like sit into the wall there that's pretty cool so you yeah, once you start like kind of keep bashing these details and everything you know things start coming together pretty quick Slide that log. oops oh no okay I see what I did 
Oops. Let's turn the walls back on. <laughs> Sorry. All right, but yeah, that's giving us some cool little roof details now. And we could add some decals and stuff on top of that, which could be really cool. Um, so let's grab this one, move that back. And I think I want to rotate this around. Let's try and, let's try and, now I don't know which way we're facing. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, we're in under there. All right. So we need. We need that to go rotate minus ninety. No. Rotate ninety. Uh, yeah, did I get it? I think I got it right. Is that what I wanted? Oh, it's around the wrong way. <laughs> okay, well that's easy now. Rotate 180. Go back to the camera mode. Yay. Cool. All right. So let's put a couple of these guys maybe at the back. Getting lots of stuff in the scene now. So it gets a bit, you know, gets a bit sort of tricky to manage and see what's going on but you just gotta you know just stick with it get more comfortable at building these like kind of more complicated scenes let's actually just get rid of these pipes hey i don't think we need those we can make more pipes if we need to <laughs> uh, i just want to make sure that's actually going into the floor There's the floor. Can we just want to make sure it's going up there somewhere. just about getting those like nice intersections and things uh, da, 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 da. let's see I gotta gotta fix all this up design ah hard why can't it just be easy <laughs> all right so that goes like over there somewhere and then we get rid of these pipes here uh and then let's move this so technically if that wasn't there it'd be sort of sitting in somewhere like that okay all right cool Okay, let's go with that for now. And then let's maybe add, let's maybe grab both of those and go Shift D, Escape. And move them kind of out here. And I'm thinking that maybe they can. Maybe this, maybe this. Just keep hiding stuff. <laughs> so let's rotate. Rotate 90. Rotate minus 90. sort of go a bit more into the scene maybe just in between these pillars let's go back to the camera view yeah and potentially we can put a bit of a light behind them and stuff as well
just trying to get them to line up a bit better. Cool. All right, looking good. That's pretty cool. I want to add, I do want to add some lights, extra lights and stuff in, but we'll do that. We'll do that at some point. Just going back to my camera, camera view. Give that a bit of a save. Thinking, 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 <laughs> saving. Okay, so now um, I am going to tab into this potentially, and I just want to go into this material and maybe just turn the roughness up a little bit and a bit less spec and a bit less metally that potentially yeah anyway all right let's go alt h let's bring all that stuff back let's go turn that fog off <laughs> Okay, so let's work on like these sort of areas here, a, a touch. Um, so what was that? We could just potentially use that one. So that material was, let's call this a trim sheet. Actually, you know what? I'll just I'll do it from scratch just so you guys can see. All right, so we've got like this here. All right, so we're going to tab into this one, and we want this not this material here. So the floor details, right? But we want these faces here. So we're going to select that, 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 and that, 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 and the side those. All right. I think that's pretty much it. That's all we need to do. So with this material, what we want to do is we want to look at floor details. This is the other one. So we want to go into object mode. And we can see we've already got a node in here. So we're just going to, oh, we'll just delete that. So I can show you again. Delete that. All right, click on this, control T. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in our trim sheet to here. So trim sheet sheet one all right and, and nothing really happened right so just remember because when you got like material inside of material that kind of inception you have to just assign it so we're going to click on this one we're going to go assign all right and then uh and then did stuff happen <laughs> i hope so maybe not <laughs> let's go so that we might need to go uh, hit U on it and go cube projection. There we go. And we can see that it's doing stuff. All right. So that's good. It's doing, doing things there. So very cool. Um, let's go down here and add that little shift A search bump. Little bump node. So connect that to the height and then the normal goes into the normal. And then we've got a bit of bump stuff going on. And then what we need to do is come here and just start playing around with the, the scale of things. And we'll, we'll fix up all the, uh, we'll fix stuff up. Need a bit, but what do I want to do? Let's get two. Two, what do we got here? Let's do. Maybe it's just something like that. And then we need to play around with this like strength and distance because it's a bit kind of crazy at the moment. All right, so we just want to kind of subtle, come down here, we just tone back the metallicness of everything a bit. You know, turn the roughness up just so it's not getting too ridiculous with all those, uh, with all of those details there. But yeah, you can sort of see what that's doing. 
right? Pretty cool. So it's just giving us like a few free little details that you can kind of add in. So, and then you just, you know, just like, do you want it? How do you want that to work and try and get it to, you know, fit sort of, so it's sort of in the middle. Cause it's just gonna sort of slide along, right? Like as you, as you muck around with those details. Yep, and then you just find those like happy little accents. But how cool is that? Pretty cool, right? So I want to do that to let's sort of. It, I find this useful to do just to like kind of throw it in and get it working, um, just kind of in the scene as like a base. And then if you want to like add specific, you know, um, UV textures and stuff on things, you can, right? Now what I want to do is like it just it's not quite matching into here yet. So let's do a little trick here of the Q saturation node. So let's just plug that in. It's gonna take a little while to load up. We're just gonna up the value. Just trying to get it to sort of like match in to the rest of the floor, right? So I think that's done to look pretty good. Not too bright, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. So we called that material something, I hope. <laughs> no, it's material 22. Uh, trim sheet 2. Trim, trim sheet floor. <laughs> All right. So trim sheet floor. All right, so let's tab out of that. All right, let's grab, um, let's grab this one, right? And with this material here, because we've already done it, let's just click down here and go down to trim material, trim sheet floor. All right, let's add that on, and there we go. Like it's pretty good. So what we want to do is we just want to make sure we tab in, tab in L, select everything, U, Q projection, right? And then we can like unlink it all right so we can unlink that material you gotta unlink it otherwise you start messing around with the scale and stuff it's going to do it to everything all right so we might want to try and make that a little bit smaller just so all the scale kind of works sometimes with this i find it's all a bit of a happy accident sometimes but something like that is pretty cool and then we can go to this one here and let's change this material so once you got all the materials you don't have to make new ones right you can just click on them and change it and stuff and then um, let's unlink that material all right, and then we come in and we yeah you can kind of just start working on some of those details right and it's just just free little details you got to kind of make sure the scale works well but then yeah also what you can do is like once you get this working you can kind of model over the top and that will also really make things fit really nicely too so as you see as we go through you know those details start moving like a lot faster once we kind of yeah just get all of that sort of happening let's just work on this a bit better i don't want to do this part shift d escape let's just add another one put it like down here in there somewhere I think, I think it'd be good if there was some sort of railing, but we'll get that to kind of, we'll get that to kind of work in a bit. All right, and let's do these walls here, because I think these would be cool if they had like a bit of a trim sheet on them as well. So let's just, I think if we just click on the wall and then click on the other wall, this one, and then click on the floor and then control L and link those materials. And let's just see what we get. Okay, so it looks a bit big. So let's just come in here and unlink that material. All right, 
and let's see if we can't just get get some cool stuff kind of happening right how cool is that super fast hey so what do we got we could well let's just see what happens if i just click on that one no this one and then that one and control l and link that material will that just work i think it will no no it's not quite the same okay <laughs> All right, so oh, actually, yeah, it is. I think, yeah, I just haven't done those wall panel bits over there. <laughs> That's all. So yeah, that was good. So just link those materials. That kind of works pretty well. All right, very good, very good. Yeah. In actual fact, I'm just wondering whether. Let's just have a look. Uh, let's just grab this. And that I'm actually thinking that we don't have those pieces anymore I might replace them with something else I'm not sure and kind of solve some of that issue that I was having over there but yeah that's pretty cool hey so really fast super duper quick which is great so we turn our fog back on All right maybe maybe not i don't know anyway i think it's really going to help when i have those other um those other lights in so we need to kind of work on that too but it's getting pretty close getting pretty close just turn those off do a bit of a save all right yeah cool the fog really creates like a bit of atmosphere in between some of these pillars which is what i was sort of hoping it would do that's pretty cool and yeah let's have a look at that other camera view as well i know we've got this this uh you know the, the rails in the way but potentially we can adjust that but uh um and i think when we have when it was probably up close we probably don't, the fog's a bit kind of too much but you can see it's pretty cool and look at all these details you get from the you know just you being those textures on and everything which is like really cool okay so i've got a couple of other little bits that i want to get to so what do we want to do before we do the decals let's i just want to work on some of these pieces up here so um let's go back to the other file and let's grab some of these Greeble details. I'm just gonna copy that and bring it into here. And it'll be somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need to turn on our little gizmos. Here we go. Came in over here. Which way around is it? Okay. Let's just put that back out there for a second. Let's hide that. hiding things uh, so rotate minus 90 there we go we got it around the right way okay so what I'm gonna do with this is let's just go shift D escape and let's move one in kind of over here and up here uh, let's hide those walls So where do I want it? I think it was on that one, yeah? Let's go back to the camera. Turn it up. Is it on that one? Hang on. Nope. Where is that? That's that one, okay. Not not blind. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's like over there. That would be why. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's just try and get that in the middle. Drop it down, something like that. Just flip it around over here.
so whoops hang on uh, all right so this is really cool because they're going to get a mix of those like kind of um the the trim sheet details right which are kind of rough and then mixing it with some of this this sort of geo stuff so let's put this on the side and just hit r just rotate this around let's move that back in just to see if we can't just get a nicer kind of read on that there how that all kind of like fits in potentially go back to the camera yeah that's cool okay and then we've got this one over here i just need to fix this up make sure that's in the middle and you can get so much usage out of some of this stuff so I'll show you what we can do so let's put this in here somewhere and then let's go shift d escape and we could um, come back to the front right and rotate that 90 degrees and then we could kind of shrink it down right and you, then you can get like little side bits and you're just working out where those connections kind of fit in and stuff You know how that all sort of works? Go to the front. A bit hard, we've got some stuff that we're need to hide here. Hide that one, hide that one. <laughs> uh, shift D, escape. That's that up there. And then control M X. All of those line up pretty good right yeah and then you got some kind of details like that right so then we could shift D, escape you know but then you can you can kind of push them in oh i see what i did i made that material two <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I want this. Oh god. Why did why did I do that? Black frame. Okay. We wanna we wanna get rid of that. Get rid of that. Sorry. Sorry guys. stuff up anything else i don't know <laughs> that's better all right cool now where was i going with this yeah and you can just start to like play around you know work out where you're getting little overlaps and details very cool right so let's say like it's getting a bit too let's say it's getting like too noisy right you want it like a little bit uh not quite as noisy so let's go back to the other one the other one my other little prop scene and i had you know more of this kind of one i see what i did is that the black frame too why did i do that okay so let's grab that go back to the scene and paste oh hang on hey 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 where'd you go hang on let's go like that control v paste sometimes it does this paste in weird places putting that there it is over there <laughs> trying to find it oh god and now I'm way outside of my layers and things <laughs> but we're all good I'll wet this out so when I rotate minus 90 Sweet, 
and then I've got this little this little guy here Yeah, you just get all these really cool like intersections, but then you can control like, yeah, how sort of, you know, simple, how complex that you want it. So shift E, escape, just go to the front, rotate, 90. Maybe want some details sort of like on, the, on this side, right? Of our kind of like bulkhead. Just kind of have that cutting in, oops. Don't move that one. Along here. Push in. You know, maybe we can go to the side. We can rotate this one around. All right, so we kind of line the black bit up there. around with these bits it's pretty cool mm, maybe I don't like it rotate around like that spiddling <laughs> always fiddling around with stuff Shift D, escape, control M, X. It's around, add the same one sort of over there. Shift D, escape. some pretty pretty cool results from this stuff maybe what I could do is we could have one shift D escape Let's see if we can't rotate this one Rotate ninety. Yeah, just trying to get like a piece that feels like it connects along there, right? So we got that one, that one, that one. Control J, join all those together, Shift D, escape. Go to the front, Control M, X. So it mirrors it along the X. Just bring that over here. It's pretty close. Yeah. And yeah, look how fast you can get all of those little details happening, right? And then we can do some of this. D, escape moves down here and then we can have like much smaller details as well that also really add to the scale and you can make all sorts of different pieces so it's not the same bit just everywhere right but it doesn't you can quite often do quite a lot with these few little pieces kind of like that there 
50 escape control oh go to the front control m x flip that around let's have like that one kind of sitting let's see just goes past there yep cool then we can also add the escape we can kind of rotate it 180 so then that's upside down kind of move this into here front Just working on where you want those shapes to intersect and connect. Um, Shift D, Escape, Control M, X, flip that. And over here. Yep, and you could even add them. side just to get some little details in there D escape control M X cool and yeah you can just get all those little details right which will break up all of those edges and things which is very cool and yeah, I mean, you can go in and model as much as you want to. Right, make up other little bits and pieces as well. You know, can we even add some of these? Shift E, escape. And yeah, I mean, this is a bit I just find so fun. <laughs> There's so many little varieties and bits and pieces of things that you can do. Pretty cool, hey? You guys got any questions or anything? That was not the right one. Control M X. Flip it. Not so great anymore. But yeah, now you can see how quickly you can really sort of build up those details, right? So yeah, pretty cool. Um, let's grab this. Duplicate. Origin, the center.
Maybe I did feel like something weird with the top of this, hey? <laughs> Let's see if it's just rotate. I think the bottom of that is the same. Delete that. Let's maybe grab these guys. Uh, Alt D. Create instance. So probably should be doing that more as well anyway. Uh, let's just, because this is becoming painful, let's just rotate it this way. Hold down control and just snap it to the 90. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Where'd it go? Right. Too much stuff. Yeah, so when you mix up the geometry with the trim sheets, it's really cool. You get a really nice result with things. Shift D, escape. It's kind of out there somewhere. Where is it? Okay. It's pretty close. Shift D, escape. D, escape. <laughs> no, I should have done Alt D, shouldn't I? Uh, 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 uh. Alt D, escape. Then it's an instance. Although, actually, maybe I shouldn't because I've got some plans anyway. Alt D, escape. In that little gap. Um, let's actually do a Shift D. Shift D, escape. What I want to do is like, let's rotate this one on the 45. Hold down control, snap it to the 45. Very good. And you can kind of move around here. And like I was sort of saying at an earlier point, you do get into this realm where it's, it's kind of a, this starts getting a lot of things to handle so it's a bit more about sort of training your brain just to cope with that stuff all right so let's go let's see if this will work uh shift d escape let's go back here control m x and then on over there Hopefully that will work nicely there as well. Very good. All right, what else? Let's go Shift D, Escape. Uh, let's try something different. Let's like scale this one. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get sort of happy accidents, right? Hey, that's looking pretty cool. Shift D, escape. Over there. So 
can see just how quickly some of this stuff can be built up, right? Once we have that good base kind of happening. So yeah. Okay. Hmm. What else? All right. Let's get on to kind of adding some more. I call them sprinkles. Sprinkles on top of the ice cream. All right. Let's add in some of these decals and and um, little bits of text and logos and things like that because I think that would be sort of one of the the final things that's going to kind of pull all this together a bit. So let's jump into that. So what we're going to do here. So remember last week I showed you how to uh, kind of texture onto the faces, right? Well, as well, what you can do is you can import images as planes, right? And I do this a lot as well to kind of do all the props and things. So what you do is you just go, uh, okay, sorry, let's go back, go back step. All right, so I made all this up. So once again, like I was saying at the start, I screenshotted my kind of door, right? And then started, you know, adding all these like details in and stuff, right? Actually, there's one thing I didn't save out, so I can show you how we how I save these out. So I've got these little hazard strips on the door. So let's just try and find these layers. So it's that one and that one. So that one, which layer is it? That one and that one. So let's just move that down here. All right. I'm just going to select both of these, join them together. Control A, Control C, Control N. All right, and then that'll paste those in. We're gonna delete the background layer, and then they'll let me save this as a PNG. So save as, and then we wanna save it as a decals. All right, uh, hazard strips. All right, and then we save that out as a PNG. So what's really cool with this is the PNG is going to be a clear, right? It's going to be see-through when we import this into Blender. So it's super good, right? So let's go back into here. And then what we want to do is we want to import all these things. So I'm going to shift right click on the door there, right? Because that, that'll that mean that they import there, hopefully. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> so we want to go import and this is good. This is not set up. So I'll show you what to do. So if I go file import, um, I can't see the images plane yet, right? So we need to do edit preferences, um, undo steps. Let's maybe change that to like 300, 256, there we go, the max. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to go to add-ons. All right, and we want to type in planes and you'll see this import export images as planes, right? So we just, Click the tick and they'll load in that add on. Now, if I go file, import, images as planes, so that option comes out down the bottom. Super good. And then we can go to the decals and then I can add all of these in apart from that. Okay. I had one Photoshop file in there when I was doing, not thinking. All right, so we're going to import all of these. And they are all going to come in and they're gonna be giant but that's okay <laughs> so they kind of do this they come in like that right <laughs> all is the same size and stuff but that's cool so what we can do is we can just move them off to the side somewhere all right and I'll grab that grab these and let's like scale these all down because they're all gonna be like way smaller than that all right and let's just put them somewhere kind of like manageable now the thing is with this, I'm going to be using all these. So um, let's just do, oh yeah, okay. So um, let's go Shift D, Escape. And we got all of these and move them all over here into my scene. However, you know, some of these are going to be hard to find once I click off them. Uh, do I want to do it like that? Or should we just do one at a time? I'm not sure. Um, you know what? Let's just put them over here. Put them over there. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I just want to go into Photoshop. And I'm just going to plonk this into my pure ref scene really quickly. Oops. That's the wrong key. Ah. Yeah. 
All right, cool. So now I've got that up just so I can see what I'm doing here. Very good. Just go back into Blender. All right, and now we should be able to grab these ones. Okay, so what do I want to start with? Let's start with this one in here. So let's move that. Now move all these around. There's probably even a way to like automate them. <laughs> but whatever, we're getting there. All right, so <laughs> and I made all these little stupid signs. Some are pretty funny, <laughs> um, but I knew that when I kind of render this out, you won't be able to see them. So it doesn't matter. So now I'm just going to start arranging these. All right. And there it's just a plane. So we want it to just sit like one pixel off the surface. Oops, uh, wrong button. There we go. All right. So I just want to shrink that down until I have it out where it is in the reference and I want to try and line these up thinking about my graphic design kind of skills I'll line that up around there all right oops Back to camera so oh you know what I need it let's just zoom in on this a bit for a second because oh come on Ugh. all right because we just want to make sure that it's just oops undo what am I doing this one all right, I just want to make sure it's just sitting off the surface. So one pixel back, it's in the wall. One pixel out, it's off, right? So it's literally just like an image that's just sitting just in front of the surface there. But it's it gives a really convincing result, which is very cool. So if we kind of go back to our camera view, all right, like that. And let's even let's just do like a quick little, let's do a save. Let's take a while, save on the network. To once it's saved, I was just going to do like a really quick little render just to show you. We're just sort of rendering an EV, it's not really a render, it's just sort of a, 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 a glorified screenshot. <laughs> but let's go render, render image, All right? And it will just sort of, boop, there we go. And you can see like how those things, it just looks like it's graphics on the surface, right? Which is very cool. So, yeah. So look pretty cool, right? There's trim sheets really speeding up the process. We've got some pillars and all these like kind of gribbly details and things like that. So we're going to keep keep solidifying everything now, working on these, working on uh, everything here. So let's go back here. Get back out here. Uh, let's grab all of these because I know they're like nowhere near where they're meant to be. So around there somewhere, a bit better. Okay, so let's go through these. Now, what's the next one that I want to do? I've got a logo here. Let's go to the front mode, G, and just move that down. <laughs> and hopefully we're getting a bit closer. There we go. And you can see when we zoom in, these things are all like nice proper res that they're meant to be so uh, where does that need to go Stick there. let's just move it up a bit so you can see because the windows in a bit so we need to just give it that make it the right size I'm just seeing s scaling that down I might just line that up with the Little corner edge there. Oh, where do we go? There we went. Okay, and then you've got to just play the little game of moving that ever so slightly inwards until it disappears. And we have that one popping out. But yeah, definitely feel like this this part is all the sprinkles. Now where's that hazard strip thing? that one there so oops that one you maybe over here go 
back to the front. It's a bit bigger. There are these hazard strips that kind of sit on the door here. Concentrating. All right, maybe there somewhere. Oh, yeah, let's move it in. Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> there we go, one pixel off. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Come on. All right, yeah, and hopefully they line up pretty good. <laughs> Not quite. A tiny bit, uh, uh, and just up uh, and hide you, hide you. Ah, come on. <laughs> Get close, I reckon. Good. And what else we got to do? All these other bits. That's what we got to do. <laughs> uh, get some arrows. Get the front mode. Once you're in front mode, then you just hit G and you know it kind of sits on that same level, right? So it's good. Then we just push this back in here. Boop, 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 boop. And they sit down in this bit here. So we need to come back to the front. Just rescale them. You know, it takes a bit of mucking around to get this to work, but it's, it's cool. The results are pretty, pretty nice. So, very good. And we'll just make sure that they are sitting on the surface there because it's. There we go. Your eyes have to go very close to the screen when you do that. <laughs> I don't know why you do that, but we will do. All right, let's grab that one. Go to the front. Grab it. G. G. All right, this one goes over here. Down here. Hit S. Scale that. Get the right size. It was kind of there, I sort of lined it up with the edge of that one. All right, so I can even line it up there and then just move it down. Pretty good. And I think this just needs to be a little bit smaller. So again, just line that up with the edge. Cool, very good. All right, so once again, look in here. I'll do it from over here. Alright. You can see as the shadow disappears, you're like almost there. Oh, there we go. Up. Very good. Alright, now I had a that one. So I had this logo in a couple of different places. <laughs> I can't put it on the same place now because I because I uh, put gribbly details in the way. <laughs> but that's cool. Do a bit of this, do a bit of that, move it around. Really cool. I've sort of messed up a bit, put the details on there too, but anyway. Let's see where we're going with this. Mm. 
might do. Little once again, little happy accident here. Just push that one down in there. Alright. So for those of you who don't know, there's a bit of a story behind this in 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 the fact that this was kind of like I had a little brief for a project that started in class where it's this uh, cryogenic storage lab facility. Um, yeah, so that's where some of these little bits and pieces come from. Now. That's cool. Okay. Let's go back over here. Grab this. This bit fits under the windows here. That's what I find like doing this in Photoshop first is good because it can get a bit overwhelming trying to design all this stuff with PNGs you're putting in and all sorts, right? I like to have a bit of a plan and then I feel this actually goes a little bit faster despite, you know, despite having to do all of this. But it is, you know, it's going quicker than if we were, than if I was doing it, kind of designing it on the fly. Now, oh, hang on, we needed to. This one I did not put onto the wall properly. Right, so that one. Then this was meant to be some really small text that, you know almost you couldn't read see with this one i think that oh no it's all good just thin text all right so this one is like really small text almost you know probably not even readable there let's go shift a escape Put that over here as well you know what? Delete that one. This is too big still. Shrink it down. Put it over there. Now, I know both of those. That one as well. Need to go in. <laughs> Bit hard because the, the writing's so small. Okay, and then I shift D, escape. Now we can go back to the front and then just hit G. And just move that up there, very good. So shrink that down a bit. Sometimes when you're scaling, like you just gotta be careful that it doesn't disappear into the wall again or whatever, right? Just make sure it's fitting in the right space. I'm even thinking that I want, maybe that material is just. Yeah, that's cooler. Some pieces up here. Oh, yeah, this one. There's a couple other things. What's that one? That, oh, I had a blue, little blue strip thing here. That's right. All right, something like that. And that's just going to fit in here. Sorry, I mean, this does take a little while to do. <laughs> Trying to get through it as quick as possible. But I feel like the, you know, it's it looks pretty awesome though.
Okay, and just make sure that that's moved down a little bit, across a little bit, line that text up with that. Let's add one of these strips over here. That's pretty cool. We can do a bit of this. Um, right. What's have we got? Okay, I think that's it for those sort of little details there. Might maybe put. Couple of those ones just up here. So we can do a little render. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool. So we've got a bit of fog there. Maybe we need to, well, yeah, of course we do. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe let's just tone that fog down a bit, right? Uh, I feel like I keep changing it. So I'm like, why don't I just do it in here? So now let's go. Well, let's save. <laughs> I want to have like a little rail gun that down the stairs as well. I think that would be good. Saving, saving, saving. Um, these are just their their generic de decals, right? So, um, so there's a question, you know, these generic ones, these are just like, I just got some of these off the internet. There's just these ones here. Right. Um, but yeah, you could, t you know, totally design them up or whatever. Um, they're so small that I'm like, it's more, you can't even really read what the, what they say. <laughs> this one's like, no mobile phones and, um, <laughs> crush zoned, which, you know, kind of all fits into what we're doing. Right. But. The idea of them is really not so you can read them. They're more just that little breakup of um, color and shape to really make the design feel nice and functional, right? So I'm not too fussed, um, but yeah, for sure, you can totally make these up yourself or just, you know, grab them. Um, you can even buy sets on ArtStation stuff as well, you know? Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that fog now. That looks cool, right? And now we've got the... the um, Yes, the uh, the decals and everything that's reading pretty well. Um, yeah, and and as you go through this, like you can you can just you know just kind of uh, do more and more of that. Um, all right, so what else do we want to do? Oh, yeah, I wanted to probably doesn't matter now. I've got this trim sheet. I was going to have some details on the floor down here, but it's like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe, 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 um, shift D, escape. Uh, move that over there. And what do I do? Let's 
rotate it. Rotate minus 90. Oops, no, 90. Is that the right way? I don't know. No. <laughs> rotate. 180. Move you up. Right click. Set origin. Center of the mass surface. Alright. Better. And then. Da -da 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 -da. Squish this all down. So we're having those like groups is good because you can hide the ceiling and do all that stuff. <laughs> but this was what I was sort of thinking. Just in here. Uh, squish it down a bit more. Just something like that. I think that's cool. Shift D, escape. adding the details <laughs> like I said it's how much your brain can handle after a while right <laughs> now that is that the plane it is isn't it so let's just grab that one shift D escape and let's put that one making sure we get enough coverage there yeah cool okay um all right lights let's do some lights because i think that's really going to add some good some good stuff here do we want to have do we want to have glowies everywhere maybe we could we could maybe <laughs> turn that fog off for a sec Okay, bear with me. <laughs> this might be bad. I'm just gonna hit I in here, just inset this. Oops. Do this better. I. All right. Let's get E. S. All right. Now let's make a new material here. New material. All right. Instead of a BSDF. Let's make it an emission texture and let's make it like a kind of light blue sort of thing. Maybe, and let's just make it like five and then let's go assign. Oh, and we got the glowies. Actually, maybe we need two rows. Do we need two rows? Maybe. I think we might need two rows. Now I've just got to remember what I did. <laughs> so I, E, S. That one's a bit further back, but whatever. And then we're going to assign that material. What's that one? What do I do? Oh, uh oh. What do I do? Nope. Ah. Hey. 
one? Is that one not working? Why not? Why? Why don't you want to do that? <laughs> Off it or something. Oh, okay. Fine. E. S. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Don't know why that did that, but anyway. Alright, let's have out of that. And let's go back to the camera mode. Let's see how much we want these to emit. So, what if we go 20? Cool. Okay. Let's do like a little, oh, let's save. I hope you guys can sort of see though how like it does, it starts off a bit slow, but then really, you know, starts moving along, right? Uh, Alt H, let's unhide all of those bits and pieces. Not that matters for render because they're all they're all clicked to render, so they'll just render anyway. Yeah, sweet, cool. Okay, let's do some other little light bits in here. Um, so these are instances as well, right? So. Tap into that. Sorry, thinking. Thinking. All right. Control R. I'm going to add an edge loop into there. But it's not going to split that bit up. No. Undo. Let's do that one there. Control R. Do that one there. All right, pretty cool. on the keyboard and go I I <laughs> they're slightly different size but don't think this matters too much just shift click those two E alright and then let's do the same thing where we're going to add a new material Material and make that material the that emission one. <laughs> Roll through. Guess it's that one there. And then we're gonna assign that about, and we should get lights in all of those. Yay! And now I just need to make sure that we don't have like weird lights in the floor and stuff, <laughs> because I use some of these pieces right. But I'm. Um, these ones were instances, and I think I shift D these ones, right? Which makes like a duplicate, which means that won't, once you do it to one thing, it won't change all of these. Um, so, yeah. Cool. That's starting to look pretty cool, hey? Mm, we could even add, we could even do some like little naughty things, right? Where we could add some lights, like kind of down the side at the back there. So let's sort of shift click around there, shift A, light, point light, and let's make that sort of a bluey color, or it could even be a warm color, maybe, maybe just offset. Let's see, I think it would be better if it's not, not, not the warm. I want to 
want it. I want it to go down there. Just like imagine there's some little little kind of floor lights down there, right? So let's go back to the camera. Can we get away with this one here? I don't know. <laughs> Might be able to see it. Shift D, escape. I'm gonna hide it behind that hole there. I just want to be careful. I don't, I don't want it too much, too much, so we can't kind of see the logos and all that kind of stuff. We could add, we could add some more logos and things around. Turn that fog off so we can select stuff. Rotate it around the blue there. Hold down Control and snap it to the ninety. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Yeah, kind of smashing through things today. Lucky it's all recorded. Let's back. Let's get it one pixel off. down there somewhere cool let's go and do this one I mean uh, control Ah, keys. <laughs> Click. Oh, hang on. Why don't I just do that? Control R. Did that do it? What is that? Do it. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, uh, I see what I did. There is an edge loop somewhere else. Uh, sorry, let's tab out. Just want to hide some of that stuff. Tab. Okay. <laughs> that makes a bit more sense. Two edge loops there. Draw R. Two edge loops there. Okay. Let's go back to this one. Uh, number three on the keyboard. No, let's add an edge loop there first, right? Three on the keyboard. I insert that one. I try and get them pretty close. All right, shift click. E S. Do a little. Do a little trick. New material. It's that one down the bottom. Oh, no, it was there. 22. Right, assign. Yeah. Alt H, bring everything back. Yeah, we got some other little lights and stuff there. That's pretty cool. What else do we want? Let's put a couple of little lights under here as well because I think this could be pretty cool. If we can do this, tab into here. Uh, Control R. Did that do it? Three. Yep. I. Oh gosh. <laughs> I do. Control R. 
to. <laughs> Yeah, we may need to hide some stuff. I don't know why. Nothing going on here. Is that another piece? That's the same piece. Is it? Okay. Come in. Wait. It is a different one. Hide that. Okay. Come in. Alright, there we go. Draw R. Yay, that's a bit better. <laughs> okay. Get there. Number three. I. So I insets it. I. Shift click on that. E. Shift it up a bit. S. Yeah, I was in a little bit. So it's a bit offset. And then new material. Scroll down to my material 22. <laughs> Be good if I had names for these. No. Alright. And then assign. Yeah. Alt H. Bring everything back. Yeah. Look at that. Pretty cool. Uh, do we see it from there? Not really. So let's. What we can do for this is let's put some other little lights there, right? Should just grab. Oh, you know what? it's pretty easy if I just do this just shift right click make my little gizmo there control a uh, no sorry shift a light point light maybe 20 and we want to make it like a little bit blue and then maybe we can just move it in fraction shift D escape Move that one over there as well. Inside. All right. Cool. Might be good if we had some lights at the back too. So, where was that one down here? Should I find it? Nope. Come on. Shift E. Escape. gonna make sure that it's sort of not in the let's move it out a bit Remember I had this little, um, remember I was showing you guys right at the start where you could do like these little uh, color grade things as well. Before I do that, let's save. Probably like version save this too as well, just in case. <laughs> I have, um, I find Blender to be really good though with um, auto saving and things like that. Probably shouldn't say that while I'm saving it, just in case it crashes. But um, yeah, it is. Um, it does work well, so. Hardly ever lose anything, which is really good. All right, so what was I doing? What did I say I was going to do just before? <laughs> Forgotten. Uh, what was it in my head that I was going to do? Uh, can't remember. <laughs> remember this render I'm doing? This is just light from Evie. So you can also throw it in cycles and see how that looks, but yeah, pretty cool. Got the lights going on and stuff now. Uh, I sort of just feel like these parts need a bit more work. But get there. Yeah, some of these little bits here with the, the trim sheets. Good to have a railing. Alright. Let's work on this. 
let's work on this railing here. Hmm, what do I do? What do I want to do? Shift right click here, Shift A, Mesh, Cube. that seems pretty good to me are those walls All right do you guys remember how to do it <laughs> shift click on the surface shift a curve bezier curve tab in delete dissolve vertices All right then we go down to the draw we change this to surface right we come down to the little bezier curve tab Geometry, we set the depth to like 0 0.02. Let's just draw something. Okay, uh, 0.01. I think we're pretty good. Then we can come to the side. And we want to just draw. It's too good at doing the curve. Alright. Oh, that was not as good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's better though. That's what I want. <laughs> okay, so uh we'll probably need to make that zero point two. Oh color grades, that's what I was telling you, wasn't it? Okay. Alright, that's good. It's in the chat, I'll remember. <laughs> Uh, so what do we need to do here? Let's go back to the move. Hang on, sorry, what happened there? Something weird happened. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. How could there be any problem with that? <laughs> goodbye, you. And goodbye, you. I was like, what's going on? Okay. Now we're heading in a better direction. So let's just move that down. Straighten all of these up. Remember, you just kind of shorten the little bezier there, right? This one. I want to have some sort of angle there. Okay, so I need to, um, this is not quite on the right because I wanted to have a bit of an angle, right? So I'm going to go G and just move this up. So if you need like extra points, what you can do, you just, I'll show you. So literally just extrude it. So I'm on that main point, just hit E and we'll just extrude a new one out, right? Very cool. So I can go back to the side. We've got that one there. Very good. And this one. That down there. That move this one you there very good you there very good all right that's so cool now we just want to make sure let's just uh, I might just for a second just tab out and just hide this because I might want it back but I want to come in here tab back into this and just make sure from the front that everything's sort of good and we don't have any weird points going somewhere crazy in space but yeah that looks nice and straight 
Um, all right, let's tab. Let's just tap out of this for a second. Shift D, escape. And I think we're gonna have to mirror those, right? So I guess control M, Y. Uh, no, okay, well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that is definitely not gonna work. Maybe. Sorry, I'm just sort of thinking about what I want to, you know, how that's going to look. But, alright, whatever. Let's just. I'm just going to right click on this and convert to mesh. And then click on this one and link those materials. And then we'll talk about those color grades really quick. Got this here. That over there, shift D, escape. Get that one over there. All right, and I'll, you know, work on that bit in a minute. All right, let's bring back that and go back to the camera. All right, and the color grades. So, um, yeah, going back to sort of like, you know, part one a few weeks ago now, um, if you come up to your little render properties um, tab and you kind of go down the bottom, um, down to here, you've got curves, you use curves and you can click on that, right? Yeah, and you can actually, um, how do I, can I reset? Reset, reset, okay. So you can kind of, um, you can actually just come around here and just kind of control this almost like uh, Photoshop, right? So let's actually, oh, can I drag that out? No, okay. Reset, reset that. Okay, so red. So we can come down, we can sort of like, add more red or we can drag the red out and make it a bit more blue green you know we could add a bit more green or a bit less green blue you know, we can sort of take out the blue or really pump it up and C I guess is sort of just the overall black and white kind of contrast level so if you're finding you can't quite get you know the exact how do I can I just delete that one put there there Is that no oh yeah there we go that brings it back to normal yeah so you can see like you can use curves so if you like if you can't quite get the right lighting that you want and stuff you can kind of muck around with curves right which is um uh yeah it's pretty cool yep and then um yeah using the going back to here and using the and i but i normally what i do is i normally just um do it at the end right so i just toggle it on and off because uh i don't want to be doing something in sort of the local color space and then you know find out that i've been choosing green but it's actually yellow because i've had curves running over it so i'll just have there and run it at the end but it's pretty cool because it can make it just feel a bit more um intense which is kind of what happens in photoshop when you use the curves as well yeah as in like curve adjustment layers right and then we're using curves to make the stairs <laughs> all right let's go alt h because that's going to bring back that box actually no i don't need the box now i don't think oh whatever just hide it again just in case we do um let's sort of think about this rail so you know like i remember we're going to think about that scale and stuff as well so i think what's happening here is because i've done it like this we need a bit more height here right so we take old mate davo and put said character up here <laughs> see what a crappy design job i just did of my railing system <laughs> because it needs to be kind of the same height here as it does there right so it's just like <laughs> right so let's fix that up and i think once i once i fix that up i'll be able to duplicate it should make more sense 
let's try first. Um, so let's just go in here. Ah, oh, see, I'm lucky I duplicated that, right? Because <laughs> I converted it to mesh. But this one I didn't. So let's just delete that one. Good. All right, so we need to just fix this up. What happens to this one? Select all of these bits. Actually, no, let's just select those bits. Move that up till it's like sort of handrail height, right? <laughs> just pretty much fits in his hands. But, uh, oh yeah, so we need to hide those walls again. <laughs> all right, there we go. So yeah, that's looking pretty good, much better. And then let's move this one down. Just so we get a bit of that. Yes, that looks way better. But maybe that is. Sorry, clicking the wrong. Oh, clicking the wrong buttons. Maybe we make just make this instead of being a weird angle. We just make it straight. There we go. Yeah, I think that's a kind of a better design, and that feels like that's about the same height there. So that's good. All right. How about that before we get too crazy with you know our accomplishments <laughs> let's put this down here and just see if that feels better all right and that does but we need to push it back there so that one fits in there okay very good let's delete delete that one now yeah. you can actually just add materials to these without converting them to mesh all right they will they will do that so yeah quite often i'll sort of leave those that over to the edge a little bit more shift escape And let's grab those two. D escape. Go back to the side. Make sure it fits into the ground <laughs> or into the stair, the step. Cool. Sweet. We got, you know, a bit of a gap here, but <laughs> whatever. Maybe I'll come up with another solution for that. Uh, Alt H. Bring it back. Oh, so now we can safely delete that cube there. Hmm. Right, getting pretty close. Now I think it's just really just little details and things. So I've got to do that control panel at the back there. Might maybe save that for next week. But yeah, there's probably, you know, <laughs> 10 hours of just fiddling around with stuff, right? Like just trying to get bits to... Like I said, oh, I just want to work on that control panel. And that's probably going to take a little while. Probably going to take a few hours just to get that to, to work, just because there's a fair bit to do there. But um, yeah, and just like I said, just sort of covering up some of these little bits, but having the trim sheet sort of working on there and working for us. Maybe, maybe if I tap into this, maybe if I just want to this bigger
maybe it's just fiddling around. Sort of better. Yeah, I think it's better on some of the other ones, but yeah. Anyway, get the idea. Hey, Henry, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. While well, the saving, like, does anyone have any other questions? Or you're good, just sort of following along? <laughs> My might also be up to the point with some people where it's like oh my god there's so much stuff and now i don't know where to start anymore <laughs> if you sort of like tuning in but obviously like i said at the start um you know these videos are up on youtube so if you want to kind of follow along from the start you totally can um yeah let's do a let's do a quick little render and and you can do all sorts of things Let's even, so we do it with the curves on top. Let's see. Yeah, Henry, long time. Um, let's have those curves, right? And then let's do the render there. Yeah. Now, just with this render, hang on, I'll just show you this as well. So it's, it's kind of doing like a screenshot, right? So at the moment, my viewport's at like 128 samples, but my render's at 64. So you can t take this up. Let's even go 256, right? <laughs> Should I say before I do this? Um, and then go render image. And it's just going to take a little bit longer to render, you know, as in like 10 seconds. Um, 20 seconds. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah, you can see. So like every time you bump up that little, um, those samples, it will get kind of even clearer and clearer each time. But yeah, guys, definitely come along. Like I said, a few little bits to kind of work on um, just yet, but um, it's getting there. And um, yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's, it's super cool. Like, I mean, there's not really that much difference between this and cycles, you know? You'll get a bit more sort of like volumetrics and a bit more kind of bounce light and stuff, but it's it's pretty it's pretty good. Um it's uh yeah, Eevee's certainly like pretty powerful. So um yeah, I might maybe even like on a few of these, maybe put a few little lights, right? Just attaching to these so they kind of like glow out a little bit more. Which could be cool but we're definitely getting that kind of like sci-fi you know mood and vibe from all of this so yeah pretty cool so i think we'll call that it for today and i reckon i'll do one more stream and polish up some little bits and pieces little details but i think that'll be it and then um yeah we'll start with uh someone else on some other other streams and um uh yeah so yeah thanks guys and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys again next week.